My name is Christina, and I'm an emergency communications representative for the American Red Cross. My shift is normally about eight hours, but I come into work at midnight. Working in the middle of the night is not easy. During my shift, I can run between having to monitor four to six fires. Uh, people are being vacated out of their homes, water main breaks weather emergencies, absolutely. This is our FDNY scanner. This here is our breaking news network. I've always wanted to work with a group of people that wanted to help others and to improve the wellness and happiness of other people, and that's exactly what the Red Cross does. Go ahead. Unit 23, we're in route. 10-4, 10-8. We grabbed all clothes, whatever we had on, and we just ran because the whole house was full of smoke. They was trying to put it out. It was just too much. Nightmare. Tonight we had a uh, three alarm fire. We have three buildings that you can see in my background that were devastated. Red Cross is taking care of 13 adults. They were so helpful. They had water. They gave us a hotel to sleep in, a voucher to eat. I mean, they really helped us. I've seen a lot of this. I've been with the Red Cross going on seven years now. Uh, this is pretty much, if you can say, routine. Um, but it's definitely not routine for the people who are, have been devastated by the fire. Uh, a lot of times they have no families and friends to go to, and that's where we come in. I always just thought it was for disasters, like hurricanes. I would have never imagined. But I'm here to tell anybody, the Red Cross is there for you. Compression. One and two and three and four and five. And I'm here because I'm taking a group of 10 girls out on their first overnight camping trip on Saturday. I feel a lot more empowered knowing that I can help, whether it be a stranger or, God forbid, my, a friend or family member. This, this is something that I think everyone should know. Okay, all right, good job. So sit back, relax. Thank you for coming today. My name is uh, Christophe Le boulanger I'm an international delegate from the Red Cross. I recently just came back from Pakistan after a three months deployment following the, uh, the monsoon flood. The scale of the disaster itself is enormous. The flash floods have devastated villages and bridges and roads and pans of mountains altogether. It is still affecting over 20 million people. The amount of water which came down the mountains was enormous. In Pakistan, I was helping in organizing the distribution of food items, non-food items, and assisting logistical needs. The Red Cross is about trying to understand the human needs. The fact that we come to a country and say to someone, we care about you, that matters a lot. Matters a lot to them, but matters a lot to me. Ready New York is um, a program we've developed to kind of inform the community about what are the steps they have to take to become ready. We give out pamphlets, we do tablings, we do presentations, and it's just um, telling them be prepared before an emergency happens. We do about 100 events um, in a month and prepare about 40,000 people a year. We had a fire in our building. It was um, a weekday evening, we were home, and all of a sudden we heard screaming in the hallways. We've been married for a year and a half, and this is our first place together. Um, it, was, it was hard for me to just see it, like, just destroyed. I was devastated. It was definitely difficult to think of all, you know, the memories, you know, little things, uh, photo albums, our wedding pictures. And we thought of it as a special place, and so, yeah, to know that it doesn't really exist for us is definitely heart-wrenching. 
we weren't at all prepared for that situation. So um, coming to the Red Cross was really helpful. We were given clear instructions as to what to do, where to go, who to speak to, what agencies could help us, whether it was filling out paperwork or getting what the next step was. It was kind of like you were dealing with friends who knew you who were sort of like, oh, you know, I'll take care of you. I'm glad to know that you guys are going into your new place real soon. Without the Red Cross, the whole process would have been a lot more stressful, a lot more difficult. Whenever you have any crisis, I think you need somebody that is calm and reassuring to get things back on track. And I think that's what the Red Cross provided for us. Without the Red Cross, I don't know if I would have felt like I actually have the strength. After this fire, the Red Cross in one word, backbone. Thank God for the Red Cross. They clothed me when I didn't have something. They gave me food when I was hungry and they gave me love and a support when I did not have anyone to lean on. You walk into the emergency communication center and it can be a slow day or it can be a hectic day where there are five buildings on fire with 500 people displaced. But at the end of the day, to know that you touched someone's heart or you made their day just a little bit better for something that you said or something that you did, it's a great feeling.